Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are going to be talking about how I color grade all of my pictures on Photo Director 8. I got Photo Director 8 for free because I believe I bought Power Director 18 and it gave it to me for free. So I've been using that to edit my pictures. This little tutorial can also work for video and I will be using the way I color grade my pictures for my videos as well because if, it, if your video editor has the same color wheels and color editing tools, then the way I edit my pictures will also work for your videos, and you can get a really nice cinematic color grade on your videos and your photos. So let's hop into Photo Director 8, and I'll show you all how I color grade. So here we are in Photo Director 8. I think we're just gonna edit these lake pictures. I took a few pictures when we were on our kayaks. I really like this picture a lot, so we're gonna edit this one. So you wanna mess with all of this. Say it looks pretty decent. We didn't really change much, but you gotta be really subtle. Now, put a vignette on there. And then, I like to go over here, and we can mess with all this. You just wanna experiment see what works for you. And then I'll mess with the saturation maybe. I want to bring out its eyes just a little bit so like we don't have it too crazy looking. I'd say that's pretty good. We can also, it also get these greens to pop. So I'd say this picture looks pretty good. It may not be y'all style, but I'd say this looks pretty decent. Let's edit this picture now because it's a bit more brighter than this dark picture. This is the waterfall I found. So we'll do the same thing. We will mess with all of this. I like tons of contrast because this one's so light, like in the daytime, we can mess with these curves a bit more without ruining it, without making it too dark. We don't want to go too crazy, obviously. We can mess with this now. It's pretty warm, so I'd like to mess with it just a tiny little bit. And you can see, when you look at the bottom right here, it is not moving a lot. You just gotta be super subtle and make just the tiniest changes to make it look really good. Now I'll go messing with the blues. I'm gonna get, add a little bit of blue because we got tons of greens. I'll turn a vignette on because I just like it a lot. Mess with the greens a little bit. Usually lighting to me is the most important part of editing a picture because the lighting usually changes like how you see the colors I feel like. So I like to mess with the lighting a lot. And now we can look at a before and after picture. Obviously you can tell that I didn't have the right shutter speed of taking this picture, but you can see the colors are way different and the contrast is way different. We'll also look at this side by side. You can tell 100% has changed a good bit. And I'd say I like this a lot. I like the way this looks. We'll also mess with this lake picture because I like this one a lot. We'll do the exact same thing just to show you all how I'm doing it.
and I'll take a before and after. There's a big difference, and because this picture is basically the same as this picture, we'll copy this, just copy all of that Go over here, paste it. That looks pretty good. And this works with video as well if you're using a video editor that has the same color grading tools. And usually when I make, when I color grade my videos, it's a lot easier than editing just different pictures that are not the same. Because when you're editing a video and you're editing all the clips, all you gotta do, edit, edit the main clip that is like your hero shot. It's like where, it's a shot that basically sums up everything, sums up the entire video. Color, color grade that shot and then copy and paste the edit onto all the other clips and then just make just different little changes to the other shots because the hero shot may just be a bit less contrasted than a clip that you paste the color grade onto so you may need to raise the contrast or lower it so yeah that is how i edit my pictures and videos i don't know how good of a job i did at describing how i do it but at least you got to see it so maybe you got something from that i'll be making more videos now again we've got more planned for mason Millie outdoors i'm getting a mr tackle box probably today and we'll fish with all those baits and stuff like that so if you like this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.